guys, Mark from Gunpla Network, back here with another unboxing for you, courtesy of the awesome guys Mike and Lance over at robocity.com.au. Check out their range. And once again, I'm doing another premium Bandai kit. I know it seems like that's all I do these days, guys, but you know, there's just so many of them you know, that I hadn't actually seen, and I didn't realize there's a couple of uh, Exia ones. Actually, there's a clear, but this one we're looking at is the Gundam Exia Trans Am Mode Gloss Injection version. So of the uh, GN001 um, Gundam Exia. Now, I've wanted this real grade for a really long time, so I was really happy when it was offered to me to review, and hopefully you will be too once we um, get to the review in a week or so. But first on, the unboxing. Now, striking box, uh, a lot of kind of pink, um, dark, reddy, purple, pink to it. Uh, I'm not sure how to describe the color, but uh, this premium band I, I think is one of those justified ones because Trans Am variant, it's just a different color. Same kit, it's the same awesome rock solid uh, real grade that I've read about, um, hopefully underneath, just a color variant. Let's take a look around the box. So standard uh, premium Bandai, you have the uh, monochrome um, looking color. We have a description and some English because um, 2014 kit, uh, this was a reprint in a different color, so I'm not sure what year this actually was. Um, just standard around the side, you see uh, more you know, info about the real grade, talking about aim to be the real thing. Price point 2,500 yen. Uh, which I think was very similar to the originals uh, price point, but obviously Premium Bandai uh, This is a re-release not original release I believe um, and outside Japan It's going to cost a little more but totally worth it. It's actually not this is priced at 55 Australian dollars and That's actually very close to what we pay for normal real grades here. Anyway, it's a few dollars more so for that point, you, you couldn't really walk past it if you like the Trans Am colors and you're not an awesome painter like Lance is. Uh, and so check out his um, entry if you haven't actually seen it now. I just want to mention that. Uh, the double O riser um, from standard riser into Trans Am riser. Uh, that was his um, you know, winning entry a couple of years ago. It was really cool. So let's take the box off. It's the standard uh, black box underneath. On top, we have the guide. Now, this is the standard real grade guide, um, but there's actually, like I said, not a whole lot different to it. It's just a recolor. So, uh, let's take a look around. So, in the guide, we've just got X here on the front, number 15 in the line. Uh, talking about the, uh, you know, excitement in body, the um, real grade frame. Uh, what to cut, what not to cut type stuff. Now I'm seeing all Japanese unfortunately so that because it is the original kit and it was only a couple of years ago really the English started coming in standard. Uh, looking at this we will use everything bar two pieces on the what's that? The E runner. Everything else will get used which is very surprising. Um, no real English to speak of except Celestial being Gundam Exia. Um, just the frame, some posing, and I'm sure there's some very interesting talking points there which I'll try and translate and bring to you in the review. Uh, first, we're going to start off with the frame and we're making the leg units. Now, compared to the Mark II, which I just did, it's actually telling me to put the armor on as I go. So, um, yeah, that's, that's one slight difference there from the Mark II. Uh, we go through the legs, left leg, right leg, left leg, and we have to put those decals on underneath, I assume. Yes, as we go, the green stickers. I bought the water slide, so I'll probably use a mix on mine. Um, we then go through the legs, armoring up. We then move on to the uh, body unit, which has a lot. This, this is a very, because it's a very um, humanoid looking suit. The Let's just do a bit of lore as we're doing, looking over this. The Gundam XCR is the close quarters battle version. Um, mobile suit in Gundam 00 series, uh, titular suit featured in um, season one, start of season two and the end of season two. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's got a lot of screen time, 
and it's pretty awesome. If you love swords, so the original rollout development code they said for this was the Gundam 7 swords, which you'll see when we review and get onto another picture here. We continue on through the body. Um, it has four beam sabers attached to the body. It then has the Jan sword and it has the two other Jan swords, smaller swords. So uh, yeah, seven swords, it's pretty cool. Talking about the GN drive up here, um, and that's an awesome looking piece of kit. We then move on to the arm units. We start with the right arm again, like the right leg. We'll then move on to the left arm. Ooh, right shoulder, it's slightly different, yes, because um, one difference here with this kit, we have to put the, uh, like a flex cable in. It's like, the, it's like the cable sending the GN particles to each limb. Uh, you then move on at the end to the head unit. Then we move on and we're talking about the weapons. So you have the GN um, pistol, which is part of the GN sword, the massive sword. We have a shield. Uh, we then have, um, what do we got? There's a GN beam sabers now, apparently, oh uh, yeah, okay. So here you get the GN uh, sword. Let me see if I can clear that up for you. Right, GN sword with the pistol hidden in the hills of that. You've then got two longer beam sabers, two beam daggers, and a GN short sword and a GN long sword. So there you go, there's your seven swords. Um, and typically, uh, Setsuna FCA, who's the pilot of this kit, and we'll get a figure of him, spent most of his time, uh, you would see, he actually threw these instead of uh, fighting with them. He would throw them at other mobile suits close by to disable or distract. Um, and yeah, that was really cool, I like that. So we move on, we build the GN sword, uh, we then build the GN long blade, the GN short blade, the GN shield, uh, right hand, left hand. And there you can see on the back, uh, they're the beam daggers, they're the beam sabers. Um, so we're getting a ton of accessories with this kit, this is awesome. Uh, and then we finish and it's showing you can flip the sword up and down how to pose it. Now, we then get the marking guide. Now, the marking guide here doesn't look as serious as the one with the uh, Mark II, which I still haven't done, but um, still quite a low markings, and obviously uh, the way you get the effects for the GN um, condensers on each limb, uh, as well as the GN drive in the chest and the back, is you use a, a green foil sticker over a, or under a clear part. So, um, really cool, guys. I love this already, and the XC is just one of my favorites. So I haven't unbagged them yet, but we'll just go through. So there's your, your foil uh, and marking sticker sheet. Now, the one difference is between if you've got the water slides, which they brought out GD106 is the part number for those in Bandai decals. Um, they won't be uh, pinky or, um, you know, the color, they'll be a standard whites and greens, unfortunately. So I might not be able to use mine as much as I'd hoped. Now this is a lovely uh, gloss um, pink color. We also then have a, um, now I was gonna paint this frame, but I, I feel like I might actually be spoiling it if I did that. So uh, that is a, um, a metal brownie gray kind of color as well. That's the F runner for some frame and armor parts and shield. Uh, and this is all armor parts here in the pink. Uh, we then have two lots of the uh, E runner double up. That would be for uh, armor parts and uh, beam sabers and hand covers, manipulator covers by the look of it. Ooh, now, the one thing I heard about the Exia was in the real grade line was that it had chrome um, parts so you didn't have to paint. But these ones here, because this is um, the Trans Am version, everything glows pink or red with the Exia. Um, so we now have a glossy chrome pink color here for the uh, the blades, which is, is really cool. Be a sin to paint those, I'd say. Uh, we then have some um, stickers. They're like a, a foil uh, see-through sticker. Um, we then have the D2 runner, which is some chest and armor pieces. Pretty cool, more of the gloss. Ah, here you go, this is the different one I was looking for. So this is the A runner, and it has the darker red, it has some uh, goldy orange yellow, it has a metallic gloss injected uh, red parts on them again. Pilot figure down there, sets an FCA. Uh, then on the back we have the C1 
and the B, which is the Advanced MS Joint 7 runner, as well as the um, Beam Dagger and the Beam Saber parts. So, really cool. And what else did we get in there? Uh, nothing of note, can't read that. We'll just throw that to the side. Okay, this is pretty awesome, guys. I'm gonna try and build this up. It's my birthday this week. I've gotta, you know, take a weekend away with the, uh, the family. So, um, we'll see what happens. Um, definitely on my priority list, but I'm also lagging behind with my GBWC project. So I need to get that as well. But I, I digress. Thank you very, very, very much to the awesome guys at, um, you know, the Robo City for sending this to me. It's a pretty special kit. I was wanting an Exia. They must have read my mind. And uh, I think Double uh, O has a place in Lance's heart, um, as well as Danik, um, our, uh, our admin and founder of the Gunplay Network. So I think we'll all be looking forward to this review. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you at the review. Bye-bye.